GovConWire featured former Prospecta president and CEO Mac Curtis, as part of Executive Mosaic Media Group's coverage of Technology Good Scout honorees, who were recognized by the National Capital Area Council of the Boy Scouts of America, for their impacts in the tech sector and demonstration of scouting values. William LaPlante, Undersecretary for Acquisition and Sustainment at the Department of Defense and a 2022 WASH 100 award winner, has signed a waiver allowing DOD to accept lots 13 and 14 deliveries of the Lockheed Martin-built F-35 fighter aircraft. A Raytheon Technology subsidiary has secured a $207 million contract to equip two U.S. Army units with counter-unmanned aerial system radar and effectors. Systicon has received a contract modification from the U.S. Army to continue deploying an analytics tool that could enable the service to perform predictive maintenance for the operational readiness of its fleet of military vehicles and related platforms. Booz Allen Hamilton has started a new business with the goal to help military customers build directed energy and high-energy laser weapon systems. Four companies have each won two-year contracts from the Defense Logistics Agency to supply retail electricity and ancillary or incidental services to multiple U.S. federal departments and military branches. Maria Richardone Lee, a corporate finance executive with two decades of industry experience, has been appointed to succeed Greg Gardner as Vice President of Investor Relations at Lockheed Martin, effective October 17. Sierra Nevada Corporation has purchased a portfolio of infrastructure-independent, vertical takeoff and landing aerial drones from Valencia, in a strategy to build up SNC's position in the market for unmanned aerial vehicles. Join Potomac Officers Club's Defense Technology Summit, FY2023 Budget and Priorities on October 25, 2022. Visit PotomacOfficersClub.com slash events. David Surgeon, Managing Director of National Security Group at Verizon, was featured in a recent Executive Spotlight interview. Visit the publication site to read the full Q&A. Marin Halper, Co-Founder and Technical Director of MITRE's Cross-Cutting Urgent Innovation Cell, has been promoted to a Vice President position.